He was only 14 years old when he savagely killed his own father and then went out for ice cream. Now he's fighting to be let back into the community. He had no remorse. I don't know that he's got any to this day. Now that led the investigator who worked tirelessly to solve the murder of a well-respected police chief and put the chief's son in prison to speak out. Nathaniel High was sentenced to life in prison at just 16 years old. Channel 9's Ken Lemon covered that murder since 2002, the trial, and now, Ken, you're the only reporter uncovering this new development that's brought this, of course, back into the spotlight. Yeah, and a few years ago, the Supreme Court ruled that any minor uh, convicted of murder cannot be forced to serve a life sentence. So at that time, prosecutors and his attorney changed his sentence from first degree to second degree, gave him a 25-year sentence. Today, he's here to officially affirm he has a new attorney who says the sentence is wrong. The case in 2002 hit the community like a punch to the gut. Gaston College Police Chief Randy High was killed in his Dallas home. I just lost my best friend. Judah was his 14-year-old son and the son's girlfriend. Nathaniel High's new attorney told me by phone today, the world has changed and so has the law. If you put this case in 2019 or 2020, I, I cannot imagine that a 14-year-old under these circumstances would be prosecuted as an adult. He's filing an appeal claiming that when High's former attorney agreed to a new sentence for second-degree murder, he allowed the court to consider factors that the jury in the 2004 trial could not have considered at that time. That added time to the sentence. He said Nathaniel, who said he was badly abused by his father, should be able to get out of prison with more than enough time served. You know, he has a, a huge family network and, and people that have been praying for him every day. Tony Robinson is one of the investigators in 2002. He said high sentence should not be altered. If he was 16, we wouldn't be having this conversation probably. So we're looking at a difference in, in days. He managed investigators who collected evidence and interviewed High after the murder. He had no remorse. I don't know that he's got any to this day. He knew right from wrong. They shot him, left him there, went shopping after it. Now, Nathaniel High's attorney has 45 days to submit his request for a new sentence to the North Carolina Court of Appeals in the AG's office, has a certain amount of time to reply. He believes it's going to take months before the Supreme Court or the uh, Court of Appeals has an opportunity to consider the appeal in this case, but he thinks the law is on his side, guys. All right, Ken, so tell us about High's girlfriend. Was she ever charged in connection with this case? She was charged. She was also convicted in this case, given a 20-year sentence. That would mean in this case for her, she won't get out until 2024, and he's facing a possibility of getting out as soon as the Court of Appeals hears this case if they rule in his side. Scott.